All right, folks, so this video is going to be a little bit different. Originally, when I made a video on the first Fullmetal Alchemist live action film, I was planning to do a similar scripted thing for every single movie in the series. However, based on that first one, I think I'm going to be repeating myself a lot if I do that. So I'm just going to record my reaction to this movie and see how it goes. If it's something unexpected, maybe I'll make a more in-depth script from there. But again, I'm not holding my breath. So let's just react to it. 20th anniversary celebration. What a way to do it. Woo, doesn't get better than that. Oh, Al okay. Al looks a lot better. In general, I think also the, the coloring just looks better. I think that they toned it down a bit with how saturated the first one was. And uh, saturating like that didn't work because there weren't many blacks in the image. So it just looked super top heavy and weird to me. It looked like they were trying to mimic an anime being bright and colorful. Oh, Ling. They put them in. I, I thought that they would maybe just cut all of the kind of Eastern stuff because that seems like a very easy thing to just splice out of the narrative when you're when you're stuck for time. But I really thought they would cut this too. I guess they're trying to combine things. Maybe they wanted an exciting like action thing for the opening. <laughs> he always looks like he's just mildly upset. Like he just spilt his ice cream. It flopped off of the cone and he's a little bit sad. Yeah, I think it feels like they're going to overuse the slow motion again. They did them the first one. How long is this going on for on this freaking train? Oh my gosh. 11 minutes in and we're still on the train. <laughs> I hate the sounds he's making. <laughs> Gotta stop the train. All right, he's going to use alchemy. He's going to be clever. So that that's good. He's using his alchemy to do things. He's being smart because he didn't get to be smart in the last movie. I don't want to be like a big logic brain man, but at least he could have like put supports underneath to show that he's considering that. Oh no, they're back. Oh, ball. He's breaking loose. What are these soldiers doing? Oh, wow. Oh, good. He's introducing himself for those who missed the, uh, the first movie. Oh my gosh. Havoc's here too. What are they doing? <laughs> Wait, are they giving us the exposition now? We already had a full movie, buddy. <laughs> we don't need this. So yeah, it was Bradley on the train. So Ed is very intimidated by him in here. Very different from their first encounter in the uh, manga. And I think in Brotherhood too. I think they had them in Brotherhood as well, where he kind of like goes for him during the alchemy exam. Which I felt like was a pretty important part of showing his anti-authority thing. Stop making those faces. What is... What, what's that? What's that supposed to express to me? What? <laughs> so they're, yeah, they're trying to find Scar. That's what this movie's about. Wait. Oh no. She's here. She's here too. Oh no, they're doing an anime short joke. Oh, this is bad. They told him, don't hold anything back. That's him at 110% baby. Oh, okay. So we're just running into Scar here. This is what happens when you're just transplanting material randomly. Because originally Scar appearing worked well because they were, they were down in the dumps, they weren't doing well, and yet the plot continues escalating. Plus he's the one who killed Nina, but now they're just running into him. So what's this, what's it mean? What's Scar represent to us? What kind of threat is he? I guess we saw him kill Alchemist, so there's still that a little bit. Again, whenever he's just standing there, and I don't even necessarily think it's his fault, you can tell that they kind of told him, wait on your mark for when the other actor is ready. So he just has no faces to make. He has nothing to react to. He's just standing there. Oh, he's trying to look scared. He's shaking. See, him being that afraid also feels weird because originally he's scared because he froze up and he, he almost got killed except Al pulled him away. Where here now, he was ready. I feel like Ed would fight him. Oh, iconic shot. We needed this in here. Oh, no. Yeah, and this isn't in nearly the same way when Ed wasn't already on the verge of giving up. Right, so we're just speed running uh, big iconic scenes here. Oh, what the f Oh, no, he's here. They didn't cut him. Oh, what are they doing? Look at him. He's beautiful. Whoa, okay, what was... We're going frame by frame here. This is a frame by frame analysis of the Full Metal Alchemist live action movie to The Revenge of Scar. Oh, yeah, they didn't... They forgot to keep the mask at the same level on his hand. Why are we going so slow-mo here? Alex, what is Alex doing here? In that? Oh, Kimberly. He's here. They all get one line. You all need a line. Because that's how you know that you did a service to the characters. Oh, <laughs> I'm showing <strong> space. 
<laughs> okay, I take back complaining that he's in here. Um, entertainment value is going up every time that man's on the screen. I don't know what they were doing with him. Why did they make gluttony look like this? Imagine you're in the stall beside that man. He peers over at you. Hey, I'm out of toilet paper. Did you spot me some? Oh, this right here, this is a very accurate representation of uh, PTSD. Winry's back, though. Winry being back makes me scared. Because last time we had some interesting moments with her. Oh, we're introducing the idea of them. Okay, yeah, yeah. Why does the flag look so fake? I just, just set up a flag. Okay, so Ed heard about Xerxes. Wait, that that's why he's going out there? Why is he going out there? What does this have to do with anything he's been thinking about in this movie? So in this, he very clearly just came here to get this information about Scar that she's going to give. So yeah, we have the issue where none of these scenes make sense. They've just been stapled together. I also hate that they haven't like sat on Hughes's death at all. They haven't reacted to it. They haven't done anything about it. They don't care to do anything about it. It doesn't matter. How does it feel like nothing has happened yet? Oh, you. No, 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 no. Oh, stone. Get away from me. Don't choke me out. And this whole thing is just shot, reverse shot, shot, reverse shot. It's so... Their directing is just so bland. Wait. What's my boy Al up to? Okay, I guess Al can just transmute now by clapping his hands together. He couldn't do that in the last movie. See, now they aren't even really doing much with, like, the light reflecting off of the actual characters. They just kind of paste it over top, this effect. I feel like the effects are getting worse and worse throughout the movie. Oh, Winry's here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So he's standing there. Envy's there. And they still have him talking. They just forgot to put him there. <laughs> and now he's back. He's there again. Nice, <laughs> Oh boy, it's the big confrontation. And when he happens to walk up, she's packing heat. He looks so awkward right now. I mean, I guess he would feel awkward, but I don't know if it's the right type of awkward. <laughs> Why? Why include that shot? We could have just not had that. Okay, now the cuts are getting ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, that's a bad effect. Okay. Oh, that sword. Why did it look that bad? Look at how his hand goes here. So, it's like weirdly underneath some of the cloth. It's like faded into it. I just want to point out that we've entirely lost track of them getting their bodies back. Oh, I forgot the stupid pandas here still. They even got Dr. Knox in here, baby. Oh, are they going to have a talk about Ishval now? Do we get more of that? Armstrong being here is just so stupid. I also don't like that they took away uh, Scar's fear that other people are going to use his brother's alchemy research for bad. Like, we aren't really getting a sense of alchemy being taboo there. At all. Oh, he lo that looks horrible. <laughs> Kimberly, what have they done to you? <laughs> the slow motion for everything. <laughs> no reaction from them, by the way, because he normally, like, hugs her and tries to protect her with his body. Oh, so they still have this in here where she gave him the research. This feels so... Like, I don't know if I'd be able to figure out what the heck they were talking about if I had just seen this movie. I wouldn't know what research she means, why she gave it to him. Oh, every time... I feel like it's every time Scar's swung at someone, it's gone slow motion. Slow-mo again! Let's go! Winry's here. Yes, yeah, so we are moving a whole bunch of the Brig stuff here. Okay, so we're getting the healing scene. This is i don't know like it's fine the idea that she wants to help him or whatever and be better but again this just worked a lot better when there's a greater reason to do that which is that they needed to work together and they needed to get things done in briggs because kimberly was after them and he was going to cause another tragedy and that whole framework made it a lot more powerful when they're willing to put their differences aside and work together oh you what is this couldn't this have just been like a flashback to a conversation they had in that little uh wooden hut thing it's amazing how you can take themes and ideas that resonated with me so well in the original. Like, I made a whole video on that cycle of hatred thing, and now it's just, like, awful because of the presentation. This is why presentation is more important than just, oh, this idea was here. Cool idea. Eh. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Why are they here? <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. That doesn't make any sense. I won't cry. 
She was focused on that in in Brotherhood in the manga because Ed had yelled at her, next time you cry, it'll be tears of joy. And she was like, okay, I gotta hold it back. And we had various moments to kind of build up that relationship for them. So he's having his little moment of realization here now. It made more sense also for him when this idea was coming from multiple angles because in Briggs, we have Miles. So he gets to see uh, another Ishvalan who's angry, but also trying to change things in a better way. It still works if it's just Winry, but it's all these things that make the characters feel so much weaker and their decisions feel so much worse. Okay, yeah, so they're still inside the fake portal or whatever. All the other bad CGI was for this moment. So this can look great. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, it doesn't look great, but honestly not as bad as I thought. Okay, yeah, that's pretty bad. He's definitely just staring at a tennis ball, you can tell. <laughs> Ling, too. To be fair, they're both just... Oh. What? That time they didn't even try to pretend there was an end to the movie. So I guess we have to do the next one. Next time. When I react to that. Bye. Good luck out there.